My name is Paloma and I've had a hard time feeling motivated to create regularly. In this video, I'm going to go through some drawing and writing prompts to help me and you feel unstuck. The goal of this is to get out of your head and just into the current moment, enjoying how it feels to create. We really won't need any fancy tools, just paper, some pencils or pens, and if you have any crayons or paints or any other colors, grab a few of those as well. Before we begin though, I want to share something else that's been helping me feel creatively unstuck. Magic Mind got in touch with me and asked if I'd like to try their mental performance shots. I've been taking these for about two weeks now and I've been surprised how focused and energized I've felt. These shots are designed to help you get into a state of creative flow with natural and organic ingredients. If you wake up feeling groggy and you could use a little more energy and creative focus in your life, it could be worth giving it a try. I have a discount code for you, it's Paloma Explorers 20 Thank you Magic Mind for sponsoring this portion of today's video. What we're going to be doing is blind drawing. You're going to put your pen or pencil to the paper and you're not going to lift it up at all. Take a look around your space and pick a couple items. Or if you have a mirror, you can also look at your reflection while you do this. I'm going to draw the kettle first, then I'm going to draw this ukulele, and then if there's still time, I'll move on to something else. And I'm not going to lift my hand. So as you're doing this, just don't overthink, don't obsess about how it's going to look, you know? This is just about feeling the pen or pencil gliding on a page, enjoying how it feels, just let your mind stop thinking, and just get into that mode where you're just feeling. Just imagine that this is art class, you're like eight years old, and you're just enjoying the moment. I think I can tell that, that I'm not doing a great job, but that's okay. That is totally okay. I feel like I could do this all day. I'm having fun. Okay. Now I'm gonna go do the camera because I finished my second item. Oh, I got to the bottom of the page. I think we still have some time left. Now I'm going to do the bookcase. So just find your items. Don't overthink. Don't lift the page. Just let your hand move. Enjoy how it feels. Basta ter carinho e compreensão. Basta ter carinho. Oh, that's the timer. Ooh, very abstract. I hope you enjoyed the first exercise. Let's do number two. I have two questions written here, and I want you to just think about it. It's like a journal prompt. Just write what, whatever comes to mind. Just let your hand move. This isn't for anybody else's eyes. This is just for you to experience releasing it. What keeps you from believing in yourself? Write down any self-doubts you have and how it would feel if you could release those things that are holding you back.
I hope you feel a little better. Now let's move on to activity number three. I'm gonna do a little connect the dots. I went with a marker this time just because I think that the dots will show up a little better. Just start dotting your paper. Make them close together, far apart, whatever you want. This honestly should be kind of fun, just making these dots wherever they end up. Some of them close, some of them far. And when you have a good amount of dots, we'll stop. I gotta say, this is kind of fun. I could keep doing this for a while. So now it looks like the night sky or something. I have lots of dots all over the page. What we're gonna do is follow our intuition where we wanna connect these dots. They can be straight lines, they can be curved lines, zigzag lines. Just go from one dot to another dot and just start connecting them. It's okay to zigzag, go over them multiple times. Just let your mind be quiet while you just feel your pen move. It doesn't have to be perfect. Try to connect every single dot eventually. Looks like I'm almost there. I have a couple more. And got it. Another piece of art. Now it's time to do a little more writing. For this one, we're gonna write a poem and it's gonna be a nonsensical poem. It doesn't matter how this ends up, but just focus on words, any words, and connect them into poetic thoughts.
seems deep or confusing, but either way, I hope you had fun. We just have one more little art project using colors. I'm doing three colors. You can do however many you'd like to do. What we're going to do is assign a certain shape or line to each color. So make a little mark on your paper so that you remember what is each one going to be. I'm just going to grab each color, make a few marks of the shapes I've assigned, and move on to the next color, and move on to the next color, and cycle through however many times feels right. Get lost in the process of colorful doodles. Now I hope today you have felt your creativity kind of spark a little bit. I know it's honestly so hard to make time to do something like this. It really feels like a waste of time in a lot of ways, but the thing is, it's really not a waste of time. As you do this, you might think of creative solutions to problems in other areas of your life. You might feel your inner child kind of wake up just taking some time to do some easy exercises. You can just kind of zone out, relax. It's so important for the brain when we spend so much of our time feeling stressed out. If you have any creativity ideas, please share them in the comments. I would love to get more exercise ideas, things that I can try, things I can let you all know about. I think it's great to just have a community of people who are all doing their best to live up to their own creative potential. I hope as you did that, you felt maybe more connected to your own creativity because we all have creativity in us. We don't have to be great artists to do exercises like these. Anybody could do them. So I hope that you had fun today and let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas or suggestions for future videos. I would love to hear. Thanks for watching.